crazy. Cool, I understand that. Get it. So look, when they post that picture in the bathroom with their pants, anytime they post a picture, how they post? Are they posting like this? How they post? They got their back to the side, right? And what they wear? They wear some pants so that things will be tied up on them so you can see the curves. And they sit it on the sink or whatever. That's why women should wear pants. It's not given to them. Because when you wear pants, you see all this ass out here. Curves and everything. And that's, let's say for example, we're, we're married men. A lot of us are married. What do you think that, what kind of spirit that puts on a man that's married? Or any man, for example, that's a, that, that likes to have sex. Because men, we want to have sex. That's the thing. All right? When you see that of a woman, what's the first thing you think of? When you see a woman with her curves showing, her breasts hanging out, give me a modest. What do you think in your mind? Things hanging out. Let's, let's be honest here. All right, nothing wrong with that. But that's the thing about it. Put you in that mindset when you meet that woman. Let's say you do get a chance to meet her, and you go out. Do you think the one that's short skirt, everything out? Are you gonna wife her? That's the one you want to wife. What you wanna do? Hit it go. Why? Come on, cause she looks like. We'll get into that, all right? Read that, read that. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. This is what God said. In like manner also, right? that women adorn themselves. This is what you take pride in. You adorn yourself in this. Go ahead. In modest apparel. Modest means to be covered up. It means to be hiding that stuff because that is for your husband. All right? That is for your husband. Every man should be seeing your breast. And seeing your, your butt, that's for your husband, for that one man you're gonna give it up to. And she's gonna white, he's gonna make you an honorable woman. You're gonna have children and build a nation. Let me ask you this, bro. Let's be honest. We're gonna be honest out here today. If I slept with a woman, and then he went and slept with that woman, then he went and slept with that woman, and then all four of those brothers slept with that woman, and we all knew each other, would you wife that woman? Why not? Why would you wife a woman that you know all your boys hit? That's my boys and they all hit. Like that's that's my boys and they all hit. And it was just easy to get access. It's easy, right? But why would you marry her though? That's Think not about this picture. When y'all getting married and she's walking down the aisle, all your boys are online with you, the best man and everything, you got some in the pews. What you think they're gonna be doing? Checking her out. They gonna be checking her out because they already know what she look like, right? And then they're gonna be like, damn, he about to hit, but I already know she got that birthmark on her left line or her left thigh. They know your way. That's a disgrace. Man, we're, 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 like, we're territorial. You don't want nobody knowing what your wife looks like. That's just plain and simple. Now, how can that happen if women are allowed to sleep around from man to man to man and, and men be whoremongers and keep sleeping around? That's not, that's not good. Read it again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves right. in modest apparel. Right. With shame face, shame face. Women shouldn't be up in the man's face screaming or arguing. What you see on Housewives of Atlanta and all these crazy shows. What's that girl name? Um, Blue faces girl. That's that's a disgrace. No woman should be up in a man's face doing all this stuff and cussing. That's, that's a disgrace. Go ahead. And sobriety. Why would a woman step up to a man like that, knowing she can't take that punishment? That's what makes sense. Not with braided hair go ahead. or gold go ahead. or pearls go ahead. or costly array, go. but which becometh women professing godliness. Now, this is what they should be adorning themselves in, in, in holiness, godliness, meaning keeping the laws of God. The order is to dress like a woman, be shame faced, quiet. Now, give me the one in uh, obedience to your husband. That's what I want. Or, like I said, every woman should be under a man. What that means is, either under her father, or until the time she gets married, she goes with her husband to take on the same role. A father's supposed to raise up her, raise up his daughter, so she can be a good wife to another man. All right, that's the whole point. Think about this. What is a what is a father supposed to teach a daughter? If you was a you father, you had a daughter, right? Would you want her out here being smashed by every? Think about it, that's easy, right? Here's my, here's my question, though. So why do we do it to other people? Why do we do that to our brother? Why would I go sleep with my brother's daughter and, and, and whore her out and leave her like that? That's a hypocritical mindset, is it not? Now, if we were to love our brothers like ourselves, I would never sleep with your daughter. Lest I marry her, lest we get a, first, me and you need to get a good communication. You have to understand that I'm gonna take care of your daughter. You're gonna see that I'm a good man. Then you be like, you know what, he's worthy enough, I'm gonna give him my daughter, she's raised up just for you. That's a family, that's how you build a nation. Why had to build a nation? We're sick and tired of the baby mamas and the deadbeat fathers. We're tired, our, our community is full of that. We're sick of that. It's time to clean our minds up, reform our minds. Go ahead. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, 
She said the younger women marry, not be boyfriend and girlfriend. He said marriage. Because it says, Hebrews 13 and 4 says, marriage is honorable and all. And the bed under foul. So whatever you want to do, you do that with your wife. Go ahead. Bear children. Bear what? Bear children. Nation building. That's what it's talking about, nation building. How can we build a nation if we keep aborting our babies? Millions of baby be, be, babies being aborted every year. How do you build a nation when you keep killing off the young ones? That doesn't make sense. That's a, that's a, that's a flawed mindset. Go ahead. Guide the house. Do what? Guide the because house. They're the ones supposed to take care of the house, raise the kids, clean up and make sure everything's good. Right? Go ahead. Give none occasion to the adversary. The adversary is anybody going against these laws. When they say, girl, you gonna let that man rule over you? Uh-uh, it's 50-50 over here. He can't tell you what to do. That's the adversary, because that's not of God. Is that it? To speak reproachfully. Go ahead. For some are already turned aside after Satan. All right, well, I said a lot of stuff. Go to 1 Corinthians real quick, 11. I'm gonna get to the order because in this world today, in America, they taught you that the woman is equal with the man. Right, do you believe that? Hold on, you ain't just saying that because we up here, right? Nah, you I don't put your like, test on the like, same when you leave too, right? I don't like when a girl try to control you. Man. You know why? Because she can't control you, bro. It doesn't make sense. How to... Listen, man, come on. That's why we all need fathers in our household. That's why our, that's why our communities are lacking. Because we don't have a father. Because I know once I got to a certain age, I got a little taller than my mom. Mom couldn't tell me nothing no more, really. I, I listened because of the obedience, you know, respect. But really, she couldn't beat me no more. I didn't feel that stuff, man. So what you need? You, you need that man to be like, what's up, man? What you saying? You need that. That's what I, that's what I fear. Listen, mom got mad. I was okay. But when dad heard about it, I was, I was shivering. I ain't gonna lie. I was scared to death. My father put fear into me, as a father should. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. This is the order according to the Most High God. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So every man out here has a head. Our head is supposed to be Jesus the Christ. All right? We follow him. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. Read that again. And the head of the woman is the man. No, no. The woman is equal with the man. We share everything. We can all make decisions. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is is the man. The woman should always have a head on her over her because that's that's her protection, her provider. All right? Think about that. And a lot of women like to say, no, I report to Christ. So as she can jump rank, as she can go over the man, then that means we can jump Christ and go to the most high. How dumb does that sound? We can just ignore Christ and go to go to the most high. That's hypocritical. That's dumb. You can't do it. So the same way we can't overrule Christ, the woman cannot overrule that man. As you know, as long as he's in righteousness, he has to be keeping the laws. All right? Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse 8. For the man is not of the woman. It says the man is not of the woman. Because if you heard the story with Adam, how was the woman created? Out of his It says the man isn't of the woman, but go ahead. But the woman of the man. Ain't no woman without a man. Remember that. They need us. Understand that. Go ahead. Neither was the man created for the woman. It says the man was not created for the woman. That's how we follow Christ. All right, go ahead. But the woman for the man. She was created to be your help me. She's here to help you out. For example, when I'm doing work, of the, when I'm doing the work of the Lord, if my wife is out the spirit and she's doing anything to stop me from going, like to go out today, and she'll say, "Baby, I want you to stay at home. I don't want you to go out there. It's dangerous. It's hot. Whatever the case may be." You know what I say to her? I said, "You got the damn devil on you." I don't follow you, woman. I follow Christ. If Christ commanded me to go, to go out and speak to my people, I'm going to follow him. The same way she's to follow you. When you tell her to do something, she better do it according to the commandments. All right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And fire!